This is a tribute to the elite. Philadelphia Highway Patrol, presented by Jim Downs of Keller Williams Real Estate 215-869-6194. Mayor Frank L. Rizzo, known as the General to Highway Patrolman. Young Frank Rizzo is a Philadelphia Highway Patrolman. Back in the late 70s, Tripoli had thumbed their nose at the United States. And then Mayor Rizzo told the President that he would send a Highway Patrol Lion Squad in to straighten out that country. 1920s members of Motor Bandit Squad were armed with a pump shotgun. 1930s the Motor Bandit teams were armed with Thompson submachine guns to confront violent bank robbers. 1932, Motor Bandit Unit. 1950s, Motor Bandit. Patrol cars were black with triangle logo on rear door to distinguish them from normal patrol cars. Highway Patrolman Deegan and McGurin. 1950s. Highway Patrolman Donato. He took pride in his wheel with all the extra add-ons. Such as the fancy handlebars instead of the factory black handlebars, he probably had a chrome knob on tank shift as well. 1950s. Old way to start a wheel in the winter when kick starts didn't work. 1950s. Bill Daly served in unit for over 40 years. 1950s. Joe Itzko also spent over 40 years in highway patrol. Plus he had two sons join him. Mark and Steve Itzko. 1950s highway patrol parade detail did you notice no dunkin donuts cops 1955 philadelphia thrill show back in the 50s uniforms were gray and they didn't wear helmet to perform daredevil acts george fencil center wheel 1960 highway patrol on parkway 1960s. Pete Belize, shaking the hand of Senator Kennedy, who once remarked as president, Philadelphia Highway Patrol was the most professional and impressive law enforcement cops that he met. Again no fat cops. Notice the shiny leather coats. These men took pride in their appearance. 1979. Highway Patrol tradition from father to son. This is Pete's son. Dominic Belize, currently Chief of Police in Solbury. 1960, Drill Team in front of Art Museum. Back in the mid-60s highway uniforms were still grey. 1960s, Thrill Show, with Jan Kleinwin, Driver, Bill Daly, Right Side, and Joe Downs hanging off left side of wheel. 1960s, Drill Team Practice. Bill Daly, Jones, Vince Borelli, Perry Kidd. 1960s, Drill Team Practice at the Filter Beds on State Road near Police Academy. Jack McDermott hanging from rear of wheel. Late 60s, Tom Gibbons far left and Jeff Perry shaking hand of President Nixon. It was a special day for Nixon. These boot cops. Well groomed. They spend a lot of time shining those leather coats, don't you think? 1960s. Highway Patrol Tommy Gibbons in front of Roundhouse Tommy was shot in the head after stopping a black radical group in West Philly, August 1970. He later became a Philadelphia Inquirer reporter and retired after 30 years. 1960s. Al O'Toole. Notice the high sheen to his boots. Actually he is wearing putees. That's the wraparound leather on calf and he is wearing high top shoes. 
1960s. Drill team practice daily, Kaufman, Gibbons, Borelli, 